What's up? We're here at Downtown Athens Recording Company, right above Tasty World, which is where we're going to enjoy some secret machines tonight. We're here with them right now with Ben, Benjamin David Curtis, and Josh, Joaquin Eluterio Garza, and Brandon. Brandon. We started in Texas and moved to New York in the middle of winter. It's been downhill ever since. <laughs> Texas is kind of your home state. Y'all are brothers, right? You guys moved to Chicago or just took a short trip there to record your first EP, which is kind of the ball that started it all. Yeah, we um, but never really moved to Chicago. We just went to record an EP, or some demos really that turned into an EP. And it's kind of hit and run, was it three weeks in Chicago, and then came back to Dallas, grabbed our stuff, and moved to New York. It's actually, we recorded it about six weeks after we had started being a band, so it's kind of like a good document of where we were when we first started. We just started rehearsing, came up with some songs, and recorded it. We ended up touring out to Los Angeles. We met Reprise Records, who asked us to make a full-length record, which came out in May. Now here is nowhere. I love the cover of your record. I love it. What was the inspiration behind that, and how did that come about? We were working with the artist, Frank Olinsky, uh, to do the layout, and he'd come to see it. We insisted that whoever was going to work with us on the whatever artwork come see us play and kind of start from there. His idea was like, what if we just put your equipment on the cover and made it white? Okay. Yeah. It came to him in a dream, you know, that's what he was telling that us. Real? That's what he said, and I was like, yeah, that's cool, you know, I don't care where it came from, it's a great idea. <laughs> in hindsight, not so much at the time when it was happening, but in hindsight now, looking at it, it kind of, you know, it's got the music. It's like, it's simple, but it's big, kind of like less is more, you know, instead of trying to get too tricky, it's just our equipment in a room, you know, and it does look cool. <laughs> you guys have been in like GQ magazine and Spin. What's been like the one moment that really hit that you guys are here, essentially? Yeah, I think that was uh, Letterman kind of put things in perspective. Cause, you know, to be asked to play that show is kind of interesting, you know, because then mom can watch and it's yeah. like some, you know, validation there. A close second would probably be Tasty World, you know, in Athens, Georgia, be invited for a special Saturday night appearance. And this show, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What we, show we, is this? <laughs> so 28-inch kick drum, Josh kind of defines the album in a way, that, that low end. Why did you go with that choice? Well, I mean, that was just what I was playing, you know. I don't really think it defines the record as much as the, uh, the songs themselves do, you know. I mean, it's like, it's funny how, you know, you just grab a bass drum that's a couple inches bigger than the average, and it's like, it's suddenly a big deal. And I think that's what's just missing from rock, is just try something a little, you know, a little different, you know. Yeah, I think a lot of bands don't really uh, realize that they can make a difference. Too many people end up recording, you know, with the same type of gear, same studios, same producers, and you, that you get the same sound. I don't think sound's important to everybody in yeah. the world. It's just important to us, so yeah. we just consider it. You don't have to. But there's just a lot of atmosphere in the in the sound. At the end of the day, it's, it's just, uh, they're just songs. The background is a little closer to the foreground with us. Cracker Barrel's been one of your favorites in the South. What did you pick up there? Didn't you pick up a little something there, Ben? Picked up the, uh, here you go, hold on. Ready? You like that? <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Breathe in. No, hold on. <laughs> you like that? That was scary. Don't mess with me. <laughs> no, go ahead, man. No, you go ahead. No, 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 I insist. No, really. I had nothing to say. Me neither. <laughs> We're just skin with cotton bread. So what's kind of future plans? Are you guys just thinking about uh, the months ahead, the years ahead, decades ahead? We're going to record a new record at the beginning of the year, so we'll have one out next year. Right. Um, we don't want to wait too long. Basically in the fourth year of, a f of our five-year plan, so we're uh, coming up with the next five-year plan it's in the works, which includes recording, touring, recording, and touring. Great, guys. I want to thank you so much for coming here, Ben, Josh, Brandon, and uh, Secret Machines on How We Roll.